Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel I'll show you two useful quick to print tools for your Bamboo Lab AMS unit. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Becoming a member is a great way to support the channel and has a few perks besides just getting your name in lights here. Click the join button to find out more. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at a couple of printable tools for the Bamboo Lab AMS. The Bamboo Lab X1 and X1 Carbon 3D printers are blazing fast Core XY 3D printers, and a popular accessory for them is the Automatic Material System, or AMS. The AMS holds four spools of filament and is connected to the printer with a six-pin cable and a PTFE tube. Both the PTFE tube and the cable from the back of the AMS are plugged into a filament buffer on the back of the printer. The cable has a locking clip to prevent it from being pulled out, and the PTFE tube connects to a coupler that holds it securely in place. But due to the design of the buffer, the cable's locking clip is facing the printer, so pressing it in to release the cable can be a real pain, trying to find a small screwdriver or something to wedge in between the back of the printer and the clip. And the release ring that needs to be pressed to disconnect the tube is recessed in the body of the buffer. That ring has to be pressed down evenly, so you can't just press one side of it down with a small screwdriver. Before, I've had to use needle nose pliers to try pressing on opposite sides of the ring at the same time, and it was a big pain. So on those rare occasions when you want to completely disconnect the AMS and remove it from the printer, you're in for a bit of a challenge. Fortunately for you, I got tired of messing around with these two little inconveniences, and I designed a pair of printable tools to make quick work of unplugging the AMS. The first is the AMS tubing release tool. This is a short cylinder with a smaller cylinder cut out of it. With the cutout allowing the tool to fit around the tube, it's a simple matter to press the release ring on the coupler and remove the tube. Slide on, push, pull, done. The second tool is the AMS cable release tool. This is a U-shaped part which cradles the cable. With a ramp on one end, it presses the release clip and gives you some extra grip on the cable as well. Its operation is very similar to the tubing release tool. Slide it on, grip the sides, and with a little wiggling and pulling, you'll be able to unplug the cable. Even with this tool, it isn't as easy as releasing the tubing, but it's a heck of a lot easier than without. Now there's one little bit of post-processing you'll need to do with this tool after you print it, and that's using a file to smooth the layers on the ramp. Otherwise, it won't slide smoothly under the release clip on the cable. It just takes a few seconds, and after that, it's good for the rest of its life. I've got the two files up on printables.com, so head over there, download them, and print them before you need them. They're super fast to print, and they'll save you some headaches later. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great, and if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.